Well, welcome to the boiling point. We are COVID friendly, but we're six feet apart, so we can take these, but you always wanna make sure you're wearing that mask. Welcome back, all of the folks that uh, tune in all the time, and for you first time people, uh, welcome to the boiling point. Uh, this is Steven Taylor, I am Richie Ware, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about variable frequency drives. Now this is a mobile, or not a mobile DA, but this is a, a de-aerator that we have that just came off the job, am I correct? About to go on another job. Go on another job, so it's gonna go through all the maintenance of course, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the variable frequency drives. It's something that uh, I think we just need to talk about why. Yeah. Why in the world do we put these things on there? Yeah, we, there's a couple reasons. The, the main reason is because we never know what boiler operating pressure we're gonna be dealing with when we send this DA tank out. So we have to size the DA tank for one job may be 75 PSI, the next one may be 325 PSI. Mm -hmm. And those pumps are designed, the 3400 RPM, they're designed to run wide open and go. When you do that, you're running a head pressure of 360, 380 PSI on that pump, and they won't hold up when you've got a boiler operating at 75 pounds. That delta P across that pump, it, it'll kill the pump. It'll cavitate and burn the pumps up. Mm. So, and they're a little expensive. They're just a little bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, and, and more important than that, then they're not reliable for the customer. That's, that's the right. biggest thing. We, right. we can't have those pumps going out with the customer. They're, they're dependent on that. Yeah. So we put these, these variable frequency drives on here and then we'll put a, a pressure um, uh, transmitter on the outlet of the pumps and then we operate, the, we'll set this at whatever pressure we need the pump to operate at. And then okay. the pump will go from 1500 RPM up to 3500 3, RPMs based on the pressure that's needed on that supply line. So the pump just runs up and down, whatever the boiler needs, the, the, the outlet pressure maintains there, whatever our set point is. So now this is a couple hundred thousand pound uh, DA. 300. 300,000, so um, you have three pumps? Three pumps on this one. Okay, so how is it that, um, how, did you, how did you come up with three pumps with a couple hundred thousand pound DA? 300,000 pound. We've got a, a, a pump that we're really confident in, uh -huh. so we use that for all of our units and we try to maintain that size pump for anything from a, you know, an, an 80,000 pound DA all the way up to this. We just keep stacking the pumps up to get the maximum capacity that we need for, for, the, for the application we're, we're working with. It's worked real well for us. So now, do do you need all of them at one time, or is there a backup here? There's a backup. We keep okay. two. What we try to do is set the job up to where we have two pumps that run, and then the third pump is a backup. We're working on a job right now to send this out on. To, it's the exact same thing. They got, you know, uh, a couple hundred thousand pounds an hour. So two pumps to take care of that. They'll have a backup if they need to to bring it on for. Uh, for, for a higher capacity that they're running on that project. Okay, cool. We're gonna give you two things today. Uh, right behind Steven is a panel, and that is a NEMA uh, 4 panel. Yep. Um, and just, just wanna maybe talk a little bit about that and why we use the NEMA 4. Yeah, we, and, and we don't just use them on these. These units are, are designed to operate outside. But we don't just use these on the ones outside. We use the NEMA 4 on, on inside of our trailer units as well, our, our mo mobile units. Mm. And we use those to keep moisture, water, dust out of these units. I mean, outside, I mean, it's gonna be raining on it, so if it's not watertight, you know, you're know, you gonna be in trouble. You're, you're gonna short things out. Inside the trailer units, it, it's you don't have a problem with that. What you have a problem with is a guy comes through and decides once a week he's going to wash the unit out. Yep. He's going to wash the unit out. He's yep. going to hit the walls, whatever, yep. and you, you, you can't have that thing shortened out. And if something happens and they freeze a line up during the night and it popped open and sprays water everywhere, same issue, that thing needs to be watertight. So that's, yep. you know, when you go to look for a rental unit, those kind of things are, are big deals. They take the whole unit down if there, there's something happens and, right. and you have water spray on it or the guy sprays it with the water hose, you take yeah. the whole unit down. So it's just something else to look at when you look for a rental unit. Not all companies actually use a NEMA No, No, they four. don't. It, it's more expensive. I mean, yeah. they're stainless steel, they're NEMA sure. 4, they're a lot more expensive than a NEMA 1, but you need to go that, from a rental standpoint, we need to go that extra step to ensure that the equipment's reliable for the customer. Yeah, boiler's already down that they've got. They yeah. bring it in a boiler. You want to make sure that that one is going to be reliable. For yeah, them same well. same reason we you know we put the VFDs on the pumps. Reliability for the customer is, is critical. That's that's the reason they're renting equipment. Sure, is for it to run. So it's got to run. We do a lot of things to make sure they run for them. Okay, well appreciate it. 
and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today, talking about the variable frequency drives and the NEMA. Again, that NEMA thing is so, NEMA 4 is very important. Um, and just check out other, you know, when you're looking for a rental boiler or whatever it is, just ask about that, okay? That's a, that's a really good thing that uh, companies should be doing out there. Now, election day is tomorrow. Go out and exercise your right as America. What a great country that we live in, a free country that you can actually go and cast your vote. So make sure you go do that. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.